It's like uh, back there. It's like a feeding frenzy uh, <laughs> when uh, at, at, in the stock market when the when the bell starts and people start making trades. It's 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 like that in the back room. And we have a good first attempt. Kane Yoshida, 87 kilos. She did that as an opener early this year at the Japanese Championships. A little, a little in front. Uh, a little in front, but at the same way. does it matter as long as you make it? That's right. That Japanese Championships was back in May. Kanye snatched 90 there, so let's see where she goes next. Now here's Sarah Davies of Great Britain. That is uh, two meets in a row now where Davies has opened with 88 kilos. She did it at a meet in Great Britain, ultimately went to 91 and, and missed that on her second. But she looks sharp based on that opener. Yes. And if she continues moving like that, I think we'll be north of 91 by the time her series is over. When when everybody's packed this tight together, you really got to make lifts. You know, one miss can really put you behind. So it's it's important that these athletes come out and make their openers. So here's Eri Mitsuke of Japan. This is the first time we're seeing her 88 kilos. Just once again, the weight on the bar. Not, not a great attempt by her. Where did you see? Or what caught your eye? Behind it, maybe? Just but he locked onto that weight. Onto that weight for the remainder of the clock that he had to take. So by simply declaring it, which is a good practice to do, it gives her the option to move up if she wanted. But as mentioned, there was really no doubt that she would come out to take right. it here. So here she is back. Mary Mutsky with 88 kilos, second attempt. That was better. That was better. So at the moment, Jessica Lucero is on the board with 89 kilos. That's leaving her on deck, but I am being told she's already done 88 backstage. So look for that to move after the Olympic trial. All right, so here is the lifter from Vietnam. First attempt, 89 kilos. Oh, wow. Nice save. Nice. It was, and it was on the ledge, and it was an important lift for a very big reason. Win T. Tue Mai has Vietnam. lifted at the Asian Championships and bombed out with 93 kilos. That was in November of last year, and she's lifted at the Asian Championships in April of this year, opened with 93 kilos and bombed out. So this is the first time she has made a snatch in her last, call it seven attempts, going back to the prior meet. So. That is a very, very important lift for her there. And let's see where the string will take her. And now we are back to Annie Ruyoki of Finland. She, what, she went over to her no right side at the pole or during the, the pole? During the catch. 
Motors, this is strange. Shifted over. Uh -oh. Well, that left foot did come this close. This is the first attempt from the United States of America, Jessica Lucero. She looked like she, instead of being upright, you know, she was kind of pushing herself forward, which caused the balance shift. You really want to stay upright in the catch there. Put the balance right over the, uh, the middle of the foot. All right, so now here is Jessica Lucero. She is the U.S. record holder at 58 kilos with a 93 kilo personal best. Obviously did not have to cut weight today. Here she is opening with 90 kilos. surprised at that you know her training leading up to this was really good really solid she looked sharp so I'm surprised that she missed that maybe a little bit of nerves but uh, I feeling she'll come back and do that yeah I don't see I mean it was a good lift yeah I mean it's right there yeah she did everything right except uh, except make it which so she will get a little bit of a rest here at 90 kilos. That weight is going to stay on, but we'll now bring out the only junior lifter in this A session. Ching Yin Shin of Chinese Taipei. She has snatched over 100 kilos in her career. She did that earlier this year. At 63. No lift, and I'm not sure if you can no tell at home, but it sounds like the 30-second clock is stuck. From Italy, and first attempt. while Nian Shin was on stage, that sound that sound is still buzzing. Yeah. In the arena, and I wonder if that's a distraction. I wonder what they're doing here. One referee is out of her seat. The lifter is on the stage. Well, I'm distracted, JP. So I, I can't imagine the lifters. Uh, I can imagine the lifters will be too. Just letting it go. Well, Alemano is not distracted. <laughs> <laughs> and and the second she celebrated there, the sound went off. No. No. Still going. Loaders, 90 kilos. They're going to have to figure this out. We're going to call now. But it looks like they're going to make Yoshida, the competition Japan. continue. And, you know, attempt. these lifters are pros. They are the best in the world. And they're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. It's a great reaction. Yeah, that's the, that wins the best reaction award for the, for the week so far. Oh, we could still see some fun stuff. Hang on. <laughs> Wait. There's some there's some flair in this class. Well, Fernando Reyes is lifting. He's always good for something. Well, that's later on, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now here's Kanye Yoshida, 90 kilos, second attempt, made 87 on her opener. Oh, boy, it looks like it's out, way out in front, but it, it, maybe that's but her. It's not, but it's not, <laughs> right. <laughs> two for two. Take a look at this, and, and maybe you'll see where, where she punches out. And... Loaders, 90 kilos. We're going to call from Finland, second attempt. Buyoki. Uh, I can't really tell from there, but yeah, you you were genuinely surprised. <laughs> yeah, you saw the punch out. All right, so now Uyoki is back for her second attempt. She missed her opener with 90. She has to stay upright to catch. Bar, shoulder, hip, middle of the foot, all in a line. 90 went behind her. Oh. Now it's fine. That's, you know, it's, that's a, it's not uncommon to see that kind of overcompensation. You, know, you miss one behind and then the next one you, yes. don't, you don't get, you don't say get it all the time. This Absolutely. It, it just, United States of America. which means this next one will be right in the middle. We hope so. And here's the rear Ciotti. She took a crack at that 101. She snatched 97. She made 101 at the Asian championships. But she's on a second attempt here after missing 90. Again, you know, these athletes might not be peaked for this because uh, the beginning of the, being in the beginning of the quad. Give you another reason in a second. No lift. 
at 90 kilos. All right, so let's take a look at this again. We're gonna call Tell me what you see here, Sean. Finland. This is attempt number three. You know, it, I, th I think it was exactly in the right spot, just not secured overhead. So she got it there where it needed to be, and then it just drifted. Well, she, in a moment, will be in the same do-or-die situation that Puliaki is now currently in with 90 kilos. And for the first time, we're really starting to feel the energy of the, of yes. the audience here, and this is something you want to see. Well, it's frankly a, here. Yeah. Well, there's a fire under her butt now. She's got to make it happen. She has made it happen. Annie Muyoki of Finland will move Good on to the clean oh, jerk. <laughs> Too ex little excited to slid down the stairs. It's all right. You can miss a stair, not the lift. Right, exactly. I'll take it. And she did exactly what she had to do. She made the adjustment. This is her third and final attempt. You know, it, it just being on this stage at this meet David, is very different than anything else, other than the Olympics, of course. And uh, it's you can't simulate it. You can't simulate how it feels to be up there. And uh, no matter how well your training goes, how well the, 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 it looks in the back, it's it's a different ball game up All on right. that platform. Well, the situation is the same. Yes. Right now, for our lifter from Chinese Taipei, she has missed 90 on her first and second attempt. So Ching Nian Shin must make this to stay in the competition. Yes. And she has. Good lift. Good comeback. Good lift. Just tough. You know, she doesn't look thrilled, I know, but, but that's world class. Right. Sarah Davis, Great Britain. So hard to come back there. And just what a straight line. Marsh is right on the body. Yeah, it's great. Great lift. She snatched 89. Her last meet, she snatched 91. On her third, she missed this on a second attempt. Oh. Just couldn't stop the momentum. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if she's getting the bar in the right spot, you just gotta slow it down. You gotta stop it once it gets there. Bar maybe came away a little bit. States yeah, the bar came away a little, little bit. bit at the top and Jessica Lucero. never stopped. It's just that right. even while she was underneath it, it just. All right, so she will be back for her third attempt. David, great Britain next. And now we have Jessica Lucero for her second attempt. Jessica opened with 90, missed it, and elected to move up on Kilo. I'd like to know why. I mean, she didn't need the time. Did get her a four, four attempt or so rest. Not too bad. Oh. Uh, she missed the same exact way she missed that first one. And that one was actually a little further away. Right. It was more in front. From Great Britain. Sarah Davis, third and final attempt. Lucero next. And at the same weight. Hey. From Sarah Davies. Well, Sarah, Sarah Davies' team made the right call. It's the right call. So now here's Jessica. Here's Jessica Lucero. Third attempt, 91 kilos. Must make this to stay in the competition. That's too bad. I'm surprised that she missed that. I mean, again, she's been such a clutch performer. Um, so Jessica Lucero has bombed out. If you see this lift, the bar looks a little bit away from her right at the start. I think it was in front of her the whole way. 
and all three of them are the same. And this will be interesting now to see how she handles and, and what she decides to do in the clean and jerk. I'd really like to see her come out and clean. Her. Absolutely. But we'll see the approach. So now, Reto, excuse me, Retenwan Wamalun of Thailand. This is her first attempt. 92 kilos. Beautiful. This is the first time we're seeing Wamalun at a major international competition, but this is not the first time we're seeing technique like this from a lifter from Thailand. Right. Let me just watch this. Very well coached. Nothing, you know, it's really efficient. There's no wasted movement. It's just exactly enough to make the lift. Yeah, and it, it may not be the fastest thing you've ever seen. It may not be... Fast enough. Well, but what I'm saying is your point is that it's just right. Yes, exactly. So now here's Eri... Mitsuke of Japan, 92 kilos, third attempt. This is a four kilo increase from her second success, six, excuse me, second attempt success with 88 kilos. Hold it. Oh. Those are the worst. Yeah. Those are the worst. I mean, it's, it's a plane. It's a plane crash on a landing, right? You got through the whole flight. <laughs> so that's an actual. It's a good analogy. And what happened, unfortunately, if you saw it right as she was about to complete, you know, getting into a standing position, her her lower back, I think, just arched backwards, and she lost it forward. All right, so now here is the second lifter from Japan, Akane Yoshida, and this is her third attempt thus far, two for two. Two kilo increase. Wow. <laughs> that, that was crazy great. for like four different reasons. That was great. <laughs> Three for three for Akane Yoshida. And just take a look at this. I mean, you couldn't put a piece of paper underneath the bottom position. <laughs> and she knows that she was down in that hole. That's, That's a great lift. All right, so now here is Alemano. Opened with 90, made it. And she's fired up. Yeah. Yes, she is. And she's making lifts. I don't think she stopped moving from the time that she walked onto the stage, lifted, and then went off. It just kept on moving. It's always fun when you see a lifter know they've made it when they hit the bottom right. position. And that's exactly, like, her reaction when she hit bottom, she knew she had it. But you have to be careful you with do. that. Yes. But I, when it works out, it's fun. Yes. All right, so now Sarah Davies of Great Britain missed 91 on her second attempt, has moved up to 93. And this is, if she wants to swing in the top five and if things go her way this is a crucial lift and this will drop her back to 88 if she misses so no. Yeah, I think that bar's just rotating into the into the receiving position. Right at the top of the it's really, transition, though, right? Yeah, it's like, really difficult to stop it once it's moving. But that loop happens right there. Right there, and then it's just, you got it. She's doing is waiting to drop down. Yeah, so she's really... There's no way she's like, She thinks she can beat everybody. And yeah. just is waiting to see what everybody else is doing. All right, so now we're back to Alemano, who has taken a two-kilo jump. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> She's going to save the celebration on this one for off stage, but that's right. What a series from Maria Alemano. And on all three of her attempts, the rebound. She wastes no time down in that bottom position. You know it's in the right position when you come right out. Yeah. Because if it's not in the right position, you have to fight in the bottom there and you stay down there for a little bit. But when you're, it's in the right position, you come right, right up. So now here is Wamaloon, 96 kilos, second attempt. Ooh, good. Good lift, but you see the contrast in style. Yeah. And you see this a lot with a lot of the Thai lifters where they will pull, pull the ball very smoothly, secure it in the bottom position, and then come up very controlled. Yes. Right? And that's kind of what you got right here in this lift. first attempt. To be followed by Wallaloo controlled the all the way, weight. and that, I, and that's Today my preference. So when I teach, when I teach the snatch to people, I want them to control it and then stand because it's repeatable. It's it's more consistent. More consistent. Okay. All right. So now here is Mercedes Perez of Colombia. And I was about to say she's intense. Well, you're absolutely correct. And she's fired up. That is good and lit. Well, 98 kilos, please. The automatic well, she might be the taking the title of best Mercedes celebration. Perez. Oh, wait, Maria. We're, we're not done. <laughs> third attempt. The game, you know, plays from here. This is Wamaloon's third attempt, 98 kilos. And Wamaloon has a at least listed a very big clean and jerk opener. So this is somebody who's electing to stay within themselves and in their abilities and not get trapped in that competition for a medal in the snatch. So uh, a conservative play here from the lifter from Thailand. Beautiful, wow, really nice. And if she winds up on the medal stand later, it's because of the discipline and, and the decision to play the game her way here in the snatch. So let's see how it goes in just three smooth and excellent lifts. One kilo opener. We're going to call her countryman from Colombia, Mercedes Perez, second attempt. And over the course of Lena's career, you know, she has been always very solid in her opener, but I have never seen her open. I'm sorry, in the Olympics in 2012 was the only time she's opened with 100 or more, so we're going back away. No lift there. Looks like she squeezed the bar real hard. Didn't get the no speed lift. in the arm and the turnaround. Off. When she started the lift? No, no, no. It, it, when she started to transition onto the bar. One will move Perez into second place. And 103, where three lifters are sitting right now, would. would ultimately be the leader. So there's a good chance we see a medal out of the B. There's right. a possibility if things go wrong here or go south for the lifters who are remaining. So right now, 101 kilos is going to stay. Mercedes Perez is going to stay with it and follow herself here. Good lift. 
That was a good lift. That was a good comeback. She's an experienced lift. Oh, yes, she is. Two Olympics under her belt, a couple of worlds, several Pan Ams. Calling for 103 kilos for their next attempt. This is Loredano Elena Tomba, Romania, first attempt. All right, so the only lifter we have yet to see is Loredana Toma of Romania until now. She's out with 103. She had originally been slated for 105. She weighted up high and, and dropped, you know, down to a weight that would move her into the lead. Oh, beautiful. What do you even say about that? Yeah, I mean, that's so just perfect. So we want to talk about our uh, lifter for Vietnam. Yeah, so, well, let's take a look at the replay here for Toma. Just that I mean, that's just perfect. Toma to follow. 104 so the lifter that we thought had moved from 89 to 103, uh, I don't even know what, what's going on with well, that. Well, I would but, imagine uh, it was an injury in the back and they were trying to buy some time. time. So Wynn has withdrawn from the competition, so the lifter from Vietnam is out. Which is a big deal because she was one of the favorites. She potentially, yeah, she right. was in, in the mix here. So now that's going to open up, uh, it's going to open up a space for somebody else to sneak in there and win a medal. So now we are back to Lena Rivas, who needs who who needs 104 to move into the lead. And with that move from Wynn, by the way, Moe Sharon of Canada is guaranteed at least a bronze. Oh. No lift for Rivas at 104 kilos. We're going to stay with 104 kilos. All right, so now call once again, Lina Rivas. 104 Columbia, stays on, and what do you do here? Well, let's take a look at this. you got to stay there. Because I mean, the, the, the battle's in the corner. again, but yep. uh, I think that was a, a, a candid oh, shot of her just right right Yes, I think that was a perfect, uh, <laughs> a perfect timing. Columbia. All right, so now here is Lena Rivas of Colombia to move into the lead. Did you see it forward? I saw it right away. It was out Off the floor? Yeah. The whole thing was forward. No lift. Rebus, 104 kilos. It's odd. Lowers I've seen her lift before. Kilos now. She didn't look like this. this All attempt. right, so there's a couple of things Lodana, here. Let's take a look at this. Elena, Toma, Romania. Can't really tell from here. Yeah, but it... it it just, looks like a good slot, but what you're saying is when you saw it off the floor, I, I mean, I, her I, body... I said as soon as it started moving, I knew it was, I knew it was going to miss it. Okay, so with that miss, Moe Sharon attack. sitting in the crowd is going to have to walk to the other side of the stage right. because she is now the silver medalist in the snatch from wow. the B session. That means uh, Rivas is going to be the bronze medalist, and T Toma has already won the gold in the snatch competition. And Moe is in the actual position to medal the total, too. Hang on. Yeah, that's good <laughs> So now 106 for Loredana Toma of Romania. And there's no reason to believe that she's going to miss this, the way she looked on that opener, 103. Man. That would be a correct assessment. Uh, I don't know if that takes a lot of brains to figure that one out. But. <laughs> Born. Let's try that was fantastic. She's really blows. well coached. That's an, a layup, Sean. I will opt <laughs> not to take. <laughs> but look but I will this. say I this. Mean, just, just crazy. I mean, so 
So Laura Dana Toma will take 109 kilos here on her third attempt. Three kilo jumps throughout this series. Why not? Sure. And they've looked great, you know, and, and as mentioned, she has attempted 110. So if successful, we have to believe this will be a personal best for Toma. Now she's got to get the timing right in the catch, although as perfect that it's as it's been, that could come back and bite her. That was perfect. Now that was perfect timing. This might very well be Laura Dana Toma's day. Well, I have to say, oh, Canada. <laughs> Good job. Well, let's take a look at this again. Perfect. Well, maybe she just needed a little more weight. Right, that's sometimes it's, that's all you need. All right, so with that, we have concluded our snatch competition in the women's 63 kilo group A session. There It was actually good. She just straightened right. it even more. Yeah. And that's, well, she was recovering. that's a problem. So we like to say that even a little press out is a press out. But right. Unfortunately, that was an example of it. All right, so now here is Yoshida, sec first attempt, 112. Oh. Oh, that's tough. That was solid. All right. Still, I mean, not, not, not exactly what you like to see in an opener, other than the fact that she, she made ain't. it, understood, yeah. I know where you're going well, where with that. Do you, it, where do you go from there? It, exactly, it looked like a max effort on right. coming out of this clean. Mitsuke, Japan, next. And when you see a clean like that, you, you know she can jerk anything if she stands up with her sure. butt. When you see a clean like that on an opener, what it tells you is, is that she's gonna need a rebound. Right. On her next two. All right, so now we are back to Buyoki of Finland, who was turned down on her opening attempt with 112. And I think it's just a matter of being a little bit more aggressive on in, punch that, out? in that finish. Yeah, in the punch out. Just, yeah, right, punch it out and be real aggressive. Don't leave any uh, anything to, uh, uh, to question. Wow, power call. Good for her. Come on. There you go. That's better. That's better. No, she she should have done that on her first. That was good. That was a way of good comeback. No doubter here. Japan for Ryoki. To be followed by Alamano, Italy. And I'll tell you. 113 kilos, Mitsuke, Even Japan. The clean was more aggressive on that attempt, so nice job there. And now we are back to Eri. Mitsuke, excuse me, of Japan. This is her second attempt. Three kilo jump off her opener with 110. Very nice jerk. She has a real shallow split Good and a, almost a straight back leg, which is odd. But you can get away with that if you drive the bar as high as she does. Thank you, Maria Grazia Alamano, second attempt. Lucero next. And you watch this split. It's real narrow, straight back leg, but she really drives the bar high. Four for four to that point for Alamano. Didn't get the bar high enough in the jerk. Once again, needs, a, needs to drive the bar a little bit higher. Give her a chance to lock out underneath. Maria Alamano, third attempt, 113 kilos.
Got to drive this bar high. Yes. Good for her. Loaders, more weight, please. 114 That was a great lift. 114 that was kilos a great being lift. requested and by a great exit from the stage. The first yes. attempt from Chinese Taipei, Ji Nin Sin. I mean, she really, wow, that's Lutero, tough to do. USA next. That's tough. To, well, she didn't drive the bar higher, she just got lower. Yeah. So I guess that, that's <laughs> another way to do it. <laughs> I don't recommend that on the jerk, though. Hey, if it works, it works. If, right. But the danger of that is it's really it's not a it's not a strong position once your knees get past a certain angle in the split and you really can't decelerate the bar and you can't stop the bar. But she did it. Great job. All right, so now it looks like we will go to Ching Nian Shin of Chinese Taipei. First attempt, 114 kilos. Uh, looks like she moved up and then back down to the 14 that she was originally slated for, which is odd, but okay. Wow. Great lift. That was a great lift. Good lift. Her Jean belt looks very thick. Kilos, first uh, you know why? Because it's the same Loaders, width all the way around. Kilos. Oh, is that what it As, is? Uh, uh, quite often, Lucero, weightlifting belts will have a little bit narrower right. in the front. Of America, second oh, Even. yeah, okay. Sarah Davis next. Even so, that looks thick. Yeah, but she's not that tall. Right. Maybe. It just looks bigger than it is, it, it, but I'm sure. Right. With no. two TCs back there. <laughs> she is not out here with a belt that, that is non-compliant. I agree. All right, so now here is Jess Jessica Lucero, second attempt, 114 kilos. position and yeah, she has doesn't have the best over uh, mobility overhead well, once again, so she doesn't have a large margin of error of in, in the past yeah so what you're yes, saying is that sometimes it appears that that bar is a she's got to really kind of settle down and because if she doesn't settle down she's going to squeeze the bar again and push it out in front so Better clean. Relax those arms, Jess. There you go. Much better. Good comeback. Good lift. 114 kilos for Jessica Lucero. And I understand that it's a bomb out. I understand that it's a disappointing day. But that lift is a testament to what Jessica Lucero has become over the last couple of years. Sure. Those are three of the hardest cleaning jerks she's ever had to do. Totally agree. Based on the situation she's in. And right here, she really put it back. It's great. You know, I mean, and if you think about it, from 2015 when she earned Davis her way at the U.S. Nationals onto the 2015 still, world team, the, the, the period become, leading into that time, she has just become an entirely different Japan. lifter yes. from the beginning of her career, when she was, you know, very erratic technically and, and just struggled in competition. And, you know, that lift shows how far she's progressed mentally. Yes. And her ability to stick that out was terrific. So now we are back to Yoshida of Japan, second attempt, 115 kilos. She made her opener with 112. It wasn't easy. That's right. So what you want to look for here is she's going to need a rebound out of the I'd bottom like position. I'd like for her to stand up very quickly. Yeah. Quadruple hop. <laughs> That's not exactly what we have in mind. But that is. Short dip. That was great. She's cool. 
for so many reasons. I mean, th there's certain Good. there's certain Good. athletes that it doesn't matter what the clean looks kilos. like. They'll jerk it. They'll just jerk it. And she's got a super short dip. Yeah. And, and just look at her just riding that momentum out and staying Honey, with it. If you look at where her elbows are, I mean, her elbows are almost at, the, at her ears, which is she's just short. It's perfect leverages for jerking. All right, so now we are back to Anna Vujoki of Finland. This is her third and final attempt, and, and this is something that would be very cool for to see her make because, again, over Vujoki's career, the third attempt in the jerk has always been dicey. She has only made one in, like, eight major competitions. What's her best? 111 until today. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, this, is a, this is a big lift for her. Oh, that looked heavy on the jerk. So she comes out with a PR clean jerk for the day. And a 202 kilo total, which is also, from what I can tell, a one kilo improvement in personal best for her. She did 201 in split. Right. So I think you go home happy. Absolutely. You know, she had a, a nice effort here. Um, she had a, an up and down day, if you think about it. Needed a third attempt snatch to stay in the competition. Uh, had a very unfortunate reversal of a good three white life good lift on our first attempt with 112. So nice job there from Fuyuki to post the total. And now we have Eri Mitsuke of Japan, third attempt, 115 kilos. Beautiful. Yes. Excellent. All right, and that'll be a good lift by majority decision. I didn't see it. Was it? Was oh, we'll see now. Maybe an elbow. Was the judge on the right who turned it down. From Great Britain, followed by Rivas, Colombia. Good to me. I don't see it. Davis wants more. Loaders, 117 kilos. All right, so almost a guarantee thus far from what we've seen is, is any opening weight you see from the lifter from Colombia on the scoreboard is likely going to change. I don't know that in the five or six sessions that we've seen where a Colombian lifter has been present, any one of them has opened with their declared opening weight. Well, it's not an unusual strategy. It's not, but it's also a predictable one over time. And what I mean by that is that... Until it's not, until... It, until they actually do it one time, but, you know, it... Perhaps overthinking, I think, sometimes. All right, so now here is Yoshida for her third attempt, 117 kilos. She just gritted out a 115-kilo second attempt. First, that first breaking that bar off the floor is really slow. She can fight. She certainly can. No lift there for Yoshida, but a five for six, 207 kilo total. The first attempt, Sarah Davis, Great Britain, to be followed by Jing. And, <laughs> and she's just been living, it's just a fight like that. You know, but that's what you want to see. This is a world championship. Right, right. Get underneath the bar, man. You fight until they turn the lights off if you have to, whatever. And you know, you can't teach that either. No, no. And that's one of the qualities you look for when you're choosing a weightlifter is, is will they do that? Guts. All right, so now here's Sarah Davies, first attempt, 118 kilos.
Looks like she's uh, seeing the birds a little bit. You know, with good reason, this is all she's ever opened with. Oh, okay. Looks like it uh, might have been a little out of position when she caught it. And she had it, she kind of... Or maybe her balance is a little bit off and she, she settled down, stood right up. But a nice start from Sarah Davies. That looks like 118 kilos is going to be the weight on the bar. Still. The lifter becomes Ching Ian Shin. She crushed 114 on her yeah, opening. Yeah, yeah, she did. Four kilo jump. All the way and around she, there. And she's built. She's just built for weight. She is, and now that she's walking off the stage, I agree with you. That belt looks huge. I'm telling you, I don't think they checked it. After a successful lift, to be followed by Rebus, Colombia at a higher weight. I mean, unless she's four foot one, which I don't think she is. Chinese Taipei, 119 kilos. She is two for two. Uh, that's all that, that's the, those are the only numbers that matter really So currently sitting on a two-minute clock with her automatic increase. She'll get a rest. There's very little well, doubt She'll go north of 120 and that change has happened. So here's Lena Rivas Being called and, and this time she is in the ready way. So Rivas will take this Lena Rivas, 120 kilos first attempt from Colombia And to have her come out this early in the session leads you to believe that you know this is going to turn it into a, a battle for silver pretty quickly. Bars ready. Rebus 120. Yeah. Davis next. Her best ever clean and jerk is 120, which she's done on multiple or 124. Okay. Uh, but again, that was a body weight class down. That was at 58. Now, now, if they're gonna, if they're gonna, they get should back, pass it. Well, Go, say it. That that was the same the same way that uh, the, the lifter Yoki. looked. Buyoki. That they turned down. Three white lights. But the referees were consistent about it. The referees gave it three white lights. Yeah. So I don't see movement in the jury. They're gonna let it go. You know. I mean, that's exactly the same. But it's a good lift. I'm I'm glad it passed. And it, you know. The jury doesn't look happy, but if you look over at a jury's table, a jury's table, they never look happy. So I really can't get a read as to whether or not they, uh, they have any thoughts of, of talking about it. They're all sitting still, so that, that is going to pass. There's the change. So now Sarah Davies, 121. And three kilo jump. I think it's possible. We'll see her. They're getting her ready. Davies has done 191 as recently as July of, oh, excuse me, 119 as recently as July of this year. She's tried 20 in the past, and from what I could tell, this would be a personal best effort if she makes it. Sideways, but that was solid. Good attempt. Very. 
So he has a little bit of a weird recovery in the jerk. He's a little all over the place. But you could go back to your comment from earlier about rigidity and just right. punching out the bar, and it just stops when it gets overhead. And that's that can counteract some of the some of the footwork issues in the recovery. Yeah, I mean, at no point was there any you know, shakiness or, or wobbling of those arms as she recovered. So it, it's really what you want to see, and it's two for two now for Sarah Davies. And, you know, sitting at 209, curious to see how this plays out because it's all bunched up around 123 to 125. So Davies will probably declare 123 if I had a guess, and then maybe burn a two-minute clock. But, no, you know, she's on a third attempt. My guess is 25-ish from Davies. I don't think so. I think she's going to go 20. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It could hold up for a minute. You never know. If things go unfortunate, we'll get unlucky elsewhere. So doubtful, but possible. All right, so now here is Ching Yan Shin, third attempt, 122 kilos. Kind of cut that pull. Well, the that's a big miss because no now kilos, third and final Sarah, da Sarah Davies can. Stay with Stay with the third if she sticks with the 22, it would give her 210, which would give her third for the moment in total. And you know, you're still behind right. uh, Mo Sharon of Canada. They both did it on their third attempt, but if they but look at the sequence of lifts, and that's what matters. Columbia. Uh, they both ten. opened with 118. Then Davies yeah. did 121. So actually, she would be the leader at 122 ahead of Mo Sharon. She's letting the bar know what's about to happen. Mercedes Perez, first attempt, 123 kilos. But let's see what the referees think. Two to one decision in her favor. And they're immediately calling this back at the jury table. They yeah, immediately I, stopped it. I don't see how they can give this to her. All right, so let's once again, right there, that press, loaders. that movement in the end, and that was similar to Viyoki. Right. So what's going to happen right now is the jury is going to speak to the two referees who, who posted it. So right now, you have to, if the referees disagree, ex excuse me, if you're, two of the referees disagree, or the jury disagreed with two of the referees, so they are speaking to them. And... We're in a technical timeout. And what the jury is doing is they're asking them what they saw, they're telling them that they disagree with what they saw, and that it's happened now twice in this session. And... These conversations are, are often tough for these referees. The jury, it's, it's not that they're being rude, but they're being firm. And, and the reason why, in tone, when they talk to them, the reason why is they want to make sure that the, the referees are, are the jury adhering to the technical rules, the lift, and they no want to make sure that they, that they stand right. behind their decisions. So they are tough on them when they talk to them. And what we're getting word of right now is that the jury has unanimously overturned kilos. that lift Elena for Perez. Toma. So no lift at 123. Romania and now Toma. here's Toma at 123. And for our audience out there, uh, JP is an official, so he speaks from a, uh, a, a position of experience here. And I've been spoken to harshly by <laughs> yeah. juries in the past. All right, so now here is Toma, first attempt. If successful, she will move into the lead. Wow. I like watching her lift. Did she move a little bit sideways there? I don't know. 
So watch when she transitions underneath the bar. It almost looks like she shifted to her right. Yeah, it's a little hop sideways almost. Well, maybe that's a feature. <laughs> so is this out in the total? Don't sleep on her as a, as a competitor in this thing. And you mentioned her in the open reel. Let's yes, see what she looks did. like here on her first attempt with 124 kilos. Yes, excellent lift. One balloon, good lift at 124 kilos. It's a great start. Loners, 124. This is attempt number two. And Lina, um, we also have Columbia. yet to see. She wants more. 124 kilos. Win Tui Tui. The athlete now. Win Tui Tui. Vietnam. Of Vietnam. It's just such a great start. Yeah. So Win Ti Tui Mai of Vietnam on the stage for her first attempt, 125, well, excuse me, 124 kilos. That sticking point. No lift. She must be we hurt. By Vietnam. I got to imagine. Loaders, so she only took one stages. attempt in the snatch. She made it 89 kilos. She Columbia. passed her attempt second and third attempts. She's walking by. a little soft off the platform here, but Columbia. nice also pull, nice turnover. Just, uh, couldn't get out of the clean. And she does not look happy. Bars ready. Rebus, 124 kilos. And uh, from what I'm told, she was. Maybe a little banged up in the quad. Plate slipped off the bar that she was taking the warm up with in the 110 clean and jerk. So let me see if I can find out more about that. In the meantime, Lena Rivas, 124 kilos. Second attempt. This will move her second into the clean and Put her second in the clean and jerk. That's better. Two for two for Lena Rivas. Good lift. This will give her a 225. So that about total. ties her best. Uh, he has a 58. Has 58. Yeah, but here, you know. For this weight. Up first, Mercedes Perez, Columbia, you said she's normally a 53? 58. Oh, okay. Watch this jerk here. Great technique. Yeah. Looks like she's having a. Almost felt like she was, like was going to pass out or something. All right, so now we are back to Mercedes Perez. Turn down. A good lift overturned at 123. Moved up a kilo. Bit of a rough time. So that is a open door now. Her 101 kilo snatch. What's her best? Mercedes? Yeah. 26. 30. 130. Perez next. Left arm never. That wasn't even, even close. close extension, yeah. 132 showing. I'm sorry. Come on. 2015 Pan Am Games. Oh, Sarah Davies is coming out now. She has plenty of time. This is a, this would be a big PR for her, huh? Yes.
She just she lost all her tightness at the bottom. She so retight instead. By up. losing that posture, you saw her yeah her lower back sort of roll under. Yep. And when you're in that position, you're done. Done. There's no. There's no coming back from that. Yeah. Third and final attempt. And, she needs this you know, for a total. being stuck Perez, in that bottom position Columbia. is it's just we not fun. <laughs> But for Sarah Davies, a three for six performance, 209 kilo total. And, and, you know, even though there was a miss there on that third attempt, I would say overall she looked great and, yeah. and nice performance from Davies. And now we are back to Mercedes Perez, who absolutely must make this clean and jerk. If successful, it will move her into third in both the clean and jerk and the total, which means For now, she is not going to really be a factor, it looks like. No. For the podium. Much better clean. And I think that was shoulder movement when she was recovering. This should be a good lift. And it is. Good for her. Loaders. So 225 kilo total will move her past Mode Sharon of Canada from the B group. She is now in fourth, so Mode will not have another medal, but that's a gritty comeback and a good lift there for yes, Mercedes Perez. Win Vietnam, second attempt. Davis, Colombia next. Here is Win T Tway Mai of Vietnam. And now she had a real rough attempt on her first clean and jerk. Got pinned with 124 and is elected to move up with one kilo. This is a gamble. Well, I, right. It's that's one word for it. Let's see if uh, if the strategy works. Yeah, I mean, you know, and you even heard her. You, you could just see her reaction. No, I, I just I don't understand the call. I don't understand the opener at 124. It just, I, I don't know how, I don't know. It's obviously a weight, these are weights that she's not in shape to do. And I don't know why you put her in that situation. It's oh, so slow. It's just slow and it just... Win the athlete. And, and what I had mentioned was, um, what we're hearing is, is in the back, when she As was doing a, uh, a warm-up, bar slipped off, or the plate slipped situation. off the bar, and it looked like she was a little Wind banged up. So, um, to make matters worse, oh, she's going back out. She just had her two-minute clock burned. So, all right, a well. lifter who has been pinned twice in the clean, unable to stand up out of the bottom position, has to follow her, now has to follow herself on a third attempt. Had a Two-minute clock burned on her, so she is back out here. I mean, this is the clock. this is the triple crown of crap that could happen to you in the clean and jerk. I mean, this is I feel bad for her. Come on, let's go. Get up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I feel bad for her. I, I, you had the feeling that she was marching off the cliff. Yeah. As she was walking toward the bar, and, and you know, there was really no indication that would lead you to think that the outcome would be any different from what you're about to see right here. Right. You know, and, and that's the only way you can really say it. You know. So no total there. I mean, if she had a if she if she had a problem in the back at 110, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know if there was time to lower the lower the opener. Uh, certainly don't know what went on back there. But uh, I hope that the uh, the coaches did everything they could do to have her succeed. Yeah. All right, so it looks like there was a little bit of blood on the bar, and I don't know if you could tell when uh, when T. Tway Mai was on the bar there. It looked like her... Um, her shins had a little cut on them, so uh, you have to make sure that there is no 
blood or anything on the ball, so the TC technical controller will call a stop to the competition, make sure the bar gets cleaned off before the next lifter comes out. So that's what that break was, and we now have it cleaned up. 126 kilos on the bar for the second attempt of Loredana Toma. That was a strange jerk. Good lift. Toma, 126 kilos. So you got to think at this point, Toma, this is her deal. This is her show. Look at this jerk. I don't know exactly what it was, but something was off and off. Well, I'm not going to. Just a slow. The front foot wasn't out far enough. And the balance. But it, the, the timing of when the feet and the arms move. Her second attempt, 127, and if she makes this, it will not be enough to move ahead of Lena Rivas in the total right now. It will tie her at 120, at 225. So it's an interesting choice here by the Thai coaches to go with 27 over 28. That is not a great reaction from the coach from Thailand. He is mad. Three athletes remaining. Three attempts remaining. 127 kilos. Stepping forward, stepping forward. If successful, moves into first place in the clean and jerk. That's too bad. Wobble is next. Well, with this lift, this is going to put her. Uh, it's a silver medal position. Silver medal position. She, she's going to just secure it. All right. So with well, that, this is interesting now because now Wamalun's going to take her spot if she can make the, if, if they two go up. Not at no. of Lena Rivas. Lena Rivas has made 225 on her second attempt. You, you, you gotta question this decision. Yeah. Why would you not play for that silver medal? One more kilo. This is a bad call. Bad call. It's a good lift. It will result in a medal in a clean and jerk, but I think ultimately they're gonna be a little disappointed when they see the results later. One left left, loaders 129 wow. kilos. I mean, if successful, ugh. Toma takes back first. Loaders, this is a great lift, it's a great kilos. effort, and but she could have done one kilo more the for the, for the medal. Down, There's nothing in that attempt that indicates now. to you that she could not have done 128, right? Right. But the only thing I would say is that there has to be a reason, or you hope that there's a reason that that was her number that they chose or said that she was going to do today, regardless. We don't know, but. Boy, it looks suspect. There's just no, there's no obvious logic no. to it. So, all right, we are now down to our final attempt of this session, and that means Laura Dana Toma has secured the world championships in total. She is your gold medalist in total, but right now, is this anywhere near in is, second? Is it PR or anything? On 26 is her best. Okay. So she's matched it. So yes, this would be her best ever. She is a cleaning machine. Good for her. And Laura, da Laura Dana Toma has just topped off the day of her life. Six for six. six, for six triple gold world champion. Gold that was a great Toma. performance. And an absolute clinic. Laura, Laura Dana Toma, 12 kilo win.
three lifters with 225. So Sean.